Meghan Markle is feeling miserable in her new role as Duchess while Harry is racked with guilt, new reports claim. A royal insider has said Meghan, 37, is finding it hard to juggle being pregnant with dealing with the public backlash, as husband Harry feels responsible for failing to protect her from negativity. This comes amid further comparisons between the American actress and Princess Diana, who experts say endured the exact same negative backlash as Meghan when she first joined the royal family up until her untimely death in 1997. Last year a source claimed Harry is overly protective about his wife because he couldn't do the same for Princess Diana. Speaking to US Weekly this week, a royal insider said, Meghan has so much on her plate, between being pregnant and dealing with the public backlash and she's finding the whole situation incredibly stressful. They added, Prince Harry is, very frustrated with how little can be done. Keeping, Meghan away from the negativity and harm has been hard for him. It's been his purpose in their relationship to keep her away from the negativity. And remarking that Meghan was morphing into Diana, royal expert Melanie Bromley told The Express that she is losing her voice. Melanie said, now she is a member of the royal family, she's lost her voice and is not able to actually say hey, Kate and I are not arguing every Sunday over our roast dinner. She continued, this is what Diana went through. Honestly, the similarities between what she's going through and what Diana went through initially, before Diana became a saint in the press. When Diana and Prince Charles first got married, it was terrible for Diana. And Meghan is going through the same thing. Explaining Harry's protectiveness over Meghan to the Sun last year, an insider said, It's my opinion that Harry feels he couldn't protect his mother, so he's going all out to protect his wife. This is his way of atoning. Last week Channel 5 documentary Kate v Meghan, Princesses at War aired, during which Diana's former butler Paul Burrell claimed Buckingham Palace is like a minefield for anyone new and compared the treatment Meghan has received to that experienced by Princess Diana. He said, Meghan has married into the most traditional family in the country, the royal family. How is she going to cope? Princess Diana was brought up in a house that was as big as Buckingham Palace, and even she was lost. Arguing that Diana was not treated very kindly, Burl, 60, explained Meghan would struggle as she is a strong and independent woman who has found herself joining the most traditional family in the country. As well as the reported feud between the couples, Meghan has had to endure regular public outbursts from her half-sister Samantha Markle, and her father Thomas. Rumors of a royal rift between the Meghan and Kate began swirling after news emerged that Meghan and Harry will move away from Kensington Palace to make their home 25 miles away from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in Windsor. There were claims that Kate broke down in tears following Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid's dress fitting ahead of Meghan and Harry's wedding in May, as well as suggestions the pair had clashed over staff. Then just weeks ago sources claimed Meghan was fed up of not being able to stand up for herself as the demands of royal protocol dictate she keeps a dignified silence amid rumors of tension between the sisters-in-law. An insider told Us Weekly the pregnant duchess is finding it frustrating and stressful having no voice, and finds the constraints of royal life debilitating. Once an outspoken feminist who gave speeches at United Nations forums, Meghan has since shut down her social media accounts as part of her transition from actress to duchess. However, royal insiders have insisted that there has been no falling out between the Cambridges and the Sussexes, but admitted the pair are very different people. A source previously told the Daily Mail's Rebecca English, while there are some tensions behind the scenes, Kate is pretty unflappable and nothing has become bad enough to make Harry and Meghan want to move out. People are genuinely pleased to see them so happy. The truth is that there simply isn't enough room at Kensington Palace for them and I know they have been looking at Windsor as a possibility since before the wedding. 